Welcome back to Movie Plot Recap. Preview, a few video clips from the Tomorrow War before the film's explanation begins. The movie starts. While showing a scene in which some people are falling from the sky. Dan was also in them. They fell in the water. When Dan comes out of the water there is a gun in his hand. Like they are going to begin a war. From here, we are shown the scene before 28 years. We see Dan and it was his daughter's birthday. Dan has brought a lot of gifts for her. Meanwhile, his wife tells him that there is a letter from Dan's father. For his granddaughter, it means for Dan's daughter. Dan says to his wife that I have told you I don't need his greetings. And he should forget his granddaughter. Dan was a biologist. Nowadays he was doing teaching in which he wasn't interesting. He was going for a job interview. It was related to research but before going there he receives a rejection call. Because of it, he becomes aggressive. His heart was broken. He returns home and starts watching TV with his daughter. There was a football match on TV. Meanwhile, we see an astonishing scene. There was an explosion in the stadium. Due to it, a lot of light along with some people come out. They have worn the army uniform like they were army people. A girl named Lieutenant Hart was leading them. She was looking brave. She starts talking with the people there. We have come from the future and there is a huge war going on in the future. For this, we need you. With the quantity of the people, we will overcome this war. It means we can control the war. Now taking it seriously the government sends many people with them. Because there was actually a war in the future. It was important to fight with it. If this future war will not be controlled so there will be no humans left in the future. No place will be left suitable for their residents. Now one year has passed. The people go to a fight in the war but going there many people were killed. And a small number of people came back to the present. Their families also get depressed. People think about going or not. One day, Dan goes to school as usual. He doesn't want to teach the kids and kids don't want to study. Dan says to kids okay let us discuss something else. But then he receives a message, someone was calling him to the research center. That we need you to arrive here instantly. Dan goes there. Dan held after going there. After doing a lot of experiments on him, a device was connected with his hand. He was told that we have to send you to the war that we'll be fighting in the future. Let us tell you that after exactly seven years you will be dead. Till then you have to put your powers in that war. Dan says to them what are you talking about? I will be died and still, you are sending me there. They say him to keep calm and the device we fixed in his hand we will locate you. Dan has no chance to put that device off from his hand. Or run away from here. Now he has to go in that war. He goes to his wife who is a therapist. She deals and does the therapy of those people who return from the war. At present, when Dan tells his wife that I am also chosen. Now I will also go to the future to fight in the war, tell me what to do? His wife says that Dan don't you know it is dangerous to go into the war. It is torture and I know when people return from the future their condition is worse. I deal with them and I couldn't see their condition. I will not let you go. Dan says that I also want this. We have an elder daughter and I don't want to die. His wife says that we will escape from here. None will know it. Dan says that no we can't run. They have set a device on my hand from which they can locate me. No matter I am here or in the future. Dan's wife says that this is weird but I have a solution for this. Your father. He can remove this. Dan says that I have told you before that I don't need any help from my father. But Dan's wife makes him understand that to remove this. You have to take help from your father. Now Dan has to go to his father. You must be thinking that why Dan hates his father? Why he doesn't like him? Because when Dan was small, Dan's father left him and his mother. Now Dan reaches his father. His personality was decent because he was retired from army. But now he flies planes because he liked them. Dan goes to him and says that I want to remove this device. He asks her to bring a sewer I will remove it easily. But Dan talks about the past. When you left us why don't you care about us? Hearing it, Dan's father comes in anger. Dan was also stubborn so he doesn't remove that device and returns home. He goes to his wife and says that there is no solution. If I am chosen, I have to go to the war. Dan's wife becomes sad. She says that if you have accepted this decision how can I stop you? Take care of yourself. But I can't say anything about our daughter. She loves you so much. Go and asks her, now Dan goes to his daughter. He says to his daughter that I have an urgent piece of work. For this, I have to stay out of the house for months. Will you miss me? Dan's daughter says that father I know that you are going into the future. You are sending to fight in the war. You can go because I know you can do it. 
Now Dan says goodbye to his daughter and arrives at the research center. They were told there that what they have to do in the future. Dan meets many people there. They also chose to fight in the war. There a man becomes the friend of Dan. He tells him that did you notice that we are of the same age? A girl who was sitting there asks interesting questions. She asks that if we have a time machine, then why don't we go to the time when this war wasn't started? We can go there and stop them. They are going to harm our world. A man who was sitting there. He tells her that the time machine we have, we can only go after 30 years with it. It has only one path and we can't change it. Otherwise, we will be stuck in a huge problem. Here it is revealed to us that the people who will harm the world, they are not humans but weird aliens. That attacks the humans. They are sending to fight with the aliens. Here they will be trained for some days. Some were excited and some were scared of it. At night, Dan and his friend were talking. The alarm speaks and the red light blinks. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Hart comes there and tells them that there is a huge urgency. We have to go into the future right now. Because we have only one lab in the future world in which our research is going on. How can we kill aliens? But those aliens have attacked our lab. We have to stop them. Now all were gathered at a place. And send them one by one into the future. As they reach the sky the system of that place goes out of order. It means in the time machine, they all stop in the sky. They have to land in the future land. But they all start falling due to the problem in the system. Think yourself, the people who fell from the height what happened to them? Here we are shown the scene which we saw at the starting of the movie. Dan and some people with him fall in the water. Dan comes out of a swimming pool. Except for Dan and some people, all were dead. So sad, but now they have to fight with those aliens. Then a female colonel comes. She makes Dan the leader of all. She says to them that there are some people in a lab you have to save them. As Dan does in the lab with his team, he sees that all were dead there. And they were killed by aliens. Dan immediately contacts that Cornell. He tells her that all are killed now what we have to do in the lab? She says that there is some information in the lab. You have to take some hard drives from there. But as Dan comes forward to take those hard drives those aliens attack him. Dan and his team instantly come out of the lab. They decide to blast that place where there is a group of aliens. Now Dan and his team run because the bomb exploded in that building. There were aliens. Due to it, the aliens present in the building were killed. But Dan and his team members get injured. They were faint. When Dan wakes up, he was in a camp. There his wounds were healed. Only one man left from his team that was his friend, they become sad. They come outside. One man was sitting outside. They come to know that he has come here in the future three times. To fight in the war now Dan asks his name. He tells his name, Dorian. Dan asks that why you came three times into the future? Don't you have any family? Aren't you afraid of losing your life? Dorian says that what kind of fear? I am a cancer patient and I have to die. So why don't I die in the war? Dan inspires by him. On another side, that female colonel admires Dan and says that you have done a great job. And you safely bring those hard drives. Dan says that I think I have seen you before, what's your name? That female colonel tells her name. She tells him that I am the daughter of Dan Forrester. It means she was none other than Dan's daughter. She has grown older in the future. And she has become a colonel. He says to his daughter that I am proud of you. I am glad. He moves forward to live with his daughter. His daughter says that no sorry father you are here as a soldier. Don't think that you are my father that's why I call you here. Dan feels that his daughter is behaving as he behaves with his father. Well, now Dan's daughter means the colonel says that don't think too much. We have to concentrate on our next mission. Dan asks that what's that? Colonel says that we have to go to the place where those female aliens lay eggs. We have to catch one female alien from there. So that we will know everything that on which they live and how will they die? Now Dan and Colonel sit in the helicopter and move to that place. On their way, Colonel was telling her father Dan. That the aliens are increasing in numbers. We have to stop it otherwise they will increase in number. And they will kill humans. They will also eat them. Finally, they reach there and Colonel asks her father to stay in the helicopter. I will go down and will help others. To catch that female. Now they all are trying to lock that female alien into the cage. But she was very strong and difficult to handle. Meanwhile, the other aliens also come to know it. They move forward to attack them. Dan becomes scared that they will harm my daughter. He instantly goes down. But till then they have put that female alien in the cage. And sent through a helicopter. But before Colonel and Dan move to the helicopter. 
The other aliens have destroyed the helicopters. Now they have to take a car. They move but aliens were also following them and hardly stop at the sea. The colonel says that I told you to stay in the helicopter then why you took it down? Dan says because I love you so much, I wanted to help you. That colonel says that leave this love. Dan asks her that what happened? Why you hate me so much? Colonel says as you hate your father. Do you remember? When I was a kid you left me. After it, mother and you got separated. And after some years you died. What time do I spend with you? Here they become emotional but the situation is worse now. They have to focus on their next mission. They go to the lab where that female alien was imprisoned. Going there, the colonel takes the blood sample of the female alien. To make a thing from which those aliens can be killed. Now she goes to her father means Dan. She says that I will make toxins to kill those aliens but we don't have much stock here. So you have to go back to the present and make a copy of those toxins. Till then I will continue my research here. Dan gets surprised and asks his daughter Colonel that why are you sending me? Sometimes you say that you hate your father and Colonel says that stop it, father. I trust my father the most. I know you can do it. Don't you remember I have said before that you can do it? Hearing it, Dan becomes happy. He says to his daughter that how can I go while leaving you here alone? I trust you but those aliens are very dangerous. Colonel says that I am your daughter I can fight with them. Dan says that Oki I will go and will come back soon. They move to that place. From where Dan has to go to the present while using the time machine. But then that female alien comes into her senses. She speaks loudly. Hearing her voice, the other aliens also come there. And try to attack them. Meanwhile, an alien makes the colonel injured. Dan instantly goes to his daughter and says that I will not go while leaving you. Colonel says that father you have to go. Forgive me for all this. I was just angry with you because I love you so much. Because now I come to know that why you do this, still I love you a lot. With it, an alien drags Colonel. Dan jumps there to save his daughter. But then he falls into the present because he was in the time machine. When he comes to his senses, he becomes depressed. Because he was scared of aliens that maybe they have killed his daughter. He sees that his friend was also there. He says to the Lieutenant Hart to make the copies of this toxin instantly. I have to take them into the future, my daughter will be waiting for me. I don't even know that she is alive or not. I have to fulfill her dream that she wants to try this medicine on aliens. To kill them. Lieutenant Hart says that no now we can't go into the future. Our time machine is damaged. Hearing it, Dan becomes sad. He goes to his house and meets his wife and daughter. He loves his daughter. He knows that his daughter will be intelligent and brave when she will grow elder. He tells his wife that our daughter will be the hero of the world. She is the one who had made the toxin from which the aliens can be killed in the future. Now Dan goes to Dorian. He was also in the present. He has a nail of an alien. Through which they can know the origin of the aliens. He takes that nail to his friend. He checks it and tells that there is ash from a volcano in it. But it wasn't enough to know that where those aliens attack at first? And from where did they come? Dan says stop, there is a student in my class who always talks about volcanoes. Maybe he can tell us anything. Now they go to that student. That boy tells them that the place where was the volcano eruption. There was snow falling after some time. There was a lot of snow falling on that volcano and its ash was buried there. Those aliens were also there and they start living there under the snow. In the future, when the snow starts melting from the rays of the sun those aliens come out. And they start attacking humans. The intelligent kid tells them the location. Now they understand it well. Dan goes to the special forces with his companions. He says that we have to go to that place to remove those aliens. The head of that place refuses. The situation is already worse. I can't let you do any experiments. Dan becomes hopeless. But then he remembers that his father is fond of flying planes. And he would have an airplane. Dan goes to his father. He tells him that his granddaughter is a colonel. She is doing a great job. But now she is in danger. Aliens have taken her with them. And if now we will kill the aliens there will be no danger for my daughter in the future. Now because Dan's father loves his granddaughter so he agrees. They will go to that place and Lieutenant Hart also comes with them. She has made many copies of that toxin. There were many other members in their team who will kill the aliens. Now they arrive at that place. They do a blast there to melt the snow. Dan's father and his friend stay outside. Dan goes under the snow to see that where the aliens lived. They see a room in which the aliens were sleeping. After so many years they will wake up means they will activate. And will attack the people. 
Dan says that we have toxins let we use them on them. So that they will be killed and will not annoy us in the future. As Dan and his team do this those aliens start making noise. Due to their voices, the slept aliens also wake up. And start attacking them. Dan's friend says to him that there is only one way to kill them. They are powerful and we have to do blast here, so that they will be killed together. You go outside and we will not let those aliens go outside. If they come outside so you shoot them. Or you can use toxins on them. As Dan goes outside his father was also there. Dan comes to know that there is a huge female alien. She is going to attack them. She moves towards them. To eat them or attack them. Dan hits an idea. He instantly takes out the toxin made by his daughter. And pour it on the foot of that alien. That alien gets panicked with pain and separates her hand from her body. Because her hand was burning. Seeing it, Dan becomes happy that finally, they got a thing from which it is easy to kill those aliens. When Dan's father sees that alien is still alive and coming towards to attack Dan. He cuts his hand so that the alien will come towards him. He will start running and will jump and the alien will follow him. And will be killed. It was a sign that how much Dan's father loves him. They leave him for a reason. Because they need him in the future. Like Dan goes and he doesn't want to leave his family. But he has to go. When he feels everything, he regrets it. He instantly takes out the toxin and puts it in that alien's mouth. With it, that alien starts burning. And it finishes there. Here we see that Dan realizes that how much he loves his father. His father loves him more than he loves. They safely go to their home. This time his father means the grandfather of his daughter was also with them. They meet each other and become happy. And promise each other that they will not get separated from each other. With it, here is the happy ending of this movie. Because now there will be no problem in the future. I hope you like the explanation. Thank you for watching.